Yo, this shit is fucking crazy. Say no. Yeah, I'm a heartbreaker. Sebarashi. <laughs> 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 The main thing I'm looking forward to this episode is seeing the conversation between Hamiyu and the Princess of the North. Because one, we all want to know what is Hamiyu's secret. Hami Hamiya or Hamiyu? The most obvious guess would be she's the assassin meant to kill the prince, but low key, she probably she's probably not. I was this is what I was thinking about. I'm switching gears here. But when the queen was talking to Prince Natsuka, I, I didn't understand at the time when I first watched it. She basically was like, we're the house of the South, but you, she basically was like, you're keeping your secrets from us. I think she was trying to say like, yo, I see you. Like you're moving shady, you're doing things. The queen is like, I don't know what you're doing. We're trying to get you on the throne and I have like a plan, but you're doing other shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm really uh, looking forward to seeing where this goes in terms of also a Sebi. With her gaining this new information you know i don't know if her mom died as a casualty in the political war i can't remember if they said anything about that but she's gonna find out some crazy shocking shit she's gonna have to start she's gonna start moving differently i think kind of like prince canute from vinland saga how prince canute was before and then he went through some shit and then became king and started doing crazy shit if they go that route with a sebi <laughs> Interesting. We have never married into royalty. You will need to take me on my word. What does she mean by that? She wants her to do something. Oh my god, what's your secret? Yo, and it looks like it's really... Dang, so she's for real. Like, she really got some leverage over her. She's like, I'm not worried about a Sebi. And she's basically saying, why are you worried about it? Oh my god. Yo, I'd be so scared if I was Yukio. He looking at him like, bro, you're crazy. <laughs> <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> he really was like, man, it was you spying on me. Come on. Come on. Come over here. You are Yojo. 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 Yeah, oh, good question. Why didn't you send your blood daughter? Keep your cool. And you know what? It's not even crazy that Natsuka's saying, yo, who cares if he sent an orphan? Or sent his adopted daughter. <laughs> I have no choice but to do it. Yo, this guy. <laughs> Yo, I don't. I can't even exp articulate like what is going on. It's like he's publicly trying to call him out for like shit that. <laughs> now he's like, oh, I said too much. My bad. Guys, I, I'm sorry. I feel like I could never talk during this show because it's like everything is important. Like everything. You can't miss nothing. Okay, I have to pause it because it's like every scene is a fucking mind game. Basically, the prince talking to that guy saying, Why didn't you send your biological daughter? Why'd you send a daughter you adopted? Did you think she was not good enough? Or are you trying to send the you sent the other one to kill me? She's the assassin. And the fact that Prince Natsuka spoke up what would be the problem with him sending his adopted daughter he wouldn't be the first why are you having a problem with it like it's like making him look bad on different layers and then he's trying to say just you keep getting worse and i will have no choice but to usurp you basically 
<laughs> and but he's doing it in a way where it's like publicly and socially acceptable that he does do that you know what i mean oh my god like i hope atsusa doesn't talk too much like i feel like he's starting to like really speak out a turn and then rokon's gonna turn that into he's growing more and more out of control you need to take care of that i could take care of that for you I could take care of that. <laughs> he's like, I will kill him for you. I think Atsutsu really needs to chill. Like, he's scaring me. Don't you like the work for me? Yo, that's another thing. Because Yuki has been complaining that the prince doesn't tell him everything and he'd be sending him into crazy situations. I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't trust Yukia all the way because Yukia did make a deal. We just didn't see it on camera. He knows that or he's suspicious of him, just doesn't fully trust him yet and is keeping him in the dark so he can't go tell the, his plans to someone else. He puts Yukia in these situations where Yukia will witness something like he did the meeting at the ravine or he puts him in a place where he can always relay the information back to the prince but he could never tell anyone else what the prince has planned or that the prince knows about stuff hmm. you like a self-aware king Oh, they draw the prince so handsomely. Ooh. What did she go get? Yo, clearly she only got it because she asked her to get it and she feeling like, holy shit, I really shouldn't be doing this, but... My goodness. Yo, I'm... Yo, what is... Oh, man, I want to know what's up. Oh my god, she's creepy. What? She said, yo, she really came up out of nowhere and called her the letter thief. Wait, how deep is this place? Deep is this pond? <laughs> Yo, for real, try to stand up. Like, she just fell back. If she don't get the... <laughs> oh, not I was not expecting her to do this. Yo, she is soldier, so she. This is just for the North to have an imperial marriage? Yo, that's crazy. I didn't know it was going to be her whole thing. What the fuck? <laughs> she really turned around and like flipped her dress like she was like dropped the mic and shit. Get the fuck out of here. Kinjo Hekato was single coinakaninatano. Hekano, what are you each about Okte? Judai wa kakujito, you are a tata so yo. Oh. Yo, she's basically saying she essayed him and got pregnant. And because she got pregnant, he basically had to marry her. Did I get that right? That is wild. Oh my god. Hold up. I. I gotta see that again. I'm sorry. I gotta watch that again. She drugged him and then essayed him, got him pregnant, and therefore he had to choose her as a wife. That's crazy. He was born out of evil. Uh, that's why... Yo! 
That is why the queen gave Asebi that name. That's why she's a fucking hater. The the king originally liked her. She drugged him, became his wife through essaying, had a baby. Then the mother became his concubine. And then she had a daughter. The mother died and the daughter is Asebi. The queen's being mean to her daughter. What a fucking bitch. Yo, this shit is fucking crazy. Okay, so Momo, who is she talking to? I know she's not meeting up with the princess from the fucking east. Oh. Wait, somebody was sneaking up on her? Hmm. Yukiya doesn't trust him? He didn't like that. He's, he's, he, yo, if Yukiya is in cahoots with Prince Natsuka, he like, dang, someone's gonna be watching me now. <gasps> oh my God. I don't know what I was expecting. I thought maybe she was gonna get kidnapped. She got killed because she delivered that letter. Like she was helping a Sebi figure out the truth and she did, but who would wanna kill her? The only person I think would be pr Fujami, the princess Fujami, because she's jealous. She was jealous of her because Asebi was asking her to do stuff. Oh my God, that'd be crazy. Or it could be princess from the East. Yo, speaking of the princess from the East, holy crap. It's like she, she walked up on stage and did her performance. And then she was like, oh, well, I can go report this too. Like she was, I, I, I need to process this episode. This was a lot. I felt like this episode felt so long. I felt like so much happened here. And I feel like there's just so much going on in general. I'm gonna get out of here, guys. I'm gonna catch you guys later. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.